What's going on everyone? In today's video, we're going to be uh, having a bit of a face-off. Uh, we're going to be we're going to be comparing the uh, MacBook Air with M4 against the uh, Mac Mini with M4 and Cyberpunk and seeing how it goes. Let's take a look. So I first tested the game on both machines at 1080p medium. In the benchmark, the MacBook Air is seeing 23.69 FPS, while the Mac Mini is seeing 30.63, so about plus 7 FPS on the Mac Mini. In gameplay, the M4 Mac Mini is typically providing us close to or sometimes a little over 30 FPS in these benchmark environments. The MacBook Air is unable to reach this, obviously. What we can also notice is that the GPU frame time on the MacBook Air is significantly higher. For example, take this brain dance experience. It's showing over 50 ms on the MacBook Air, while on the Mac Mini it's down to 40 in the GPU. A lower GPU frame time means the GPU is rendering frames faster. The higher GPU frame time indicates that the GPU on the MacBook Air is struggling more to render each frame. Regardless, really, on both M4 Macs, native 1080p can't provide us 30 FPS easily at respectable settings. The frame pacing is all over the place, especially during challenging scenes such as this race sequence with explosions and shooting going on. We are seeing below 30 FPS on both Macs. We would want to be seen closer to 33 milliseconds in the frame interval and close to or lower than 30 ms for GPU frame time to be seeing around 30 fps. Another quick note is that my MacBook Air does quite a bit more shader compilation than my Mac Mini, but it doesn't really matter. This usually happens when loading a save and doesn't affect gameplay. Metal Effects or FSR is definitely needed to provide us a better experience. This is still medium preset at 1080p, but with metal effects on balanced, which uses an input scaling res of 1129 by 635. In the benchmark, we are seeing 42.36 FPS on the MacBook Air and 42.41 FPS on the Mac Mini. So the Mac Mini is providing us with about plus 10 FPS. Obviously, the Mac Mini's active cooling thanks to its internal fan, significantly improves performance compared to the MacBook Air's fanless, passively cooled design. Still, I'm actually quite impressed that the MacBook Air is sometimes hitting over 40 FPS in these benchmark environments. I'm even more impressed that my small little Mac Mini is able to occasionally get over 50 FPS in this state. The GPU frame time is showing us that the fan-cooled Mac Mini is constantly rendering each frame faster, suggesting it's not throttling under load. I still really wouldn't recommend playing the game like this on both Macs, as the frame pacing is not ideal, at least for me. So is 60 FPS possible here then? No, not really, even on the Mac Mini. This is 1080p low preset with metal effects on performance, which is using a scaling input res of 960 by 540. To be hitting 60 FPS and over, we want the GPU frame time to be lower than 16 milliseconds. This brain dance experience is providing us about 40 FPS on both Macs, and the GPU is showing over 20 ms on both Macs. This is indicating, obviously, that the GPU is struggling. Also, this race is going down to 30 FPS on the MacBook Air and 40 on the Mac Mini, and again is showing us over 20 ms for the GPU. At the end of the day, 60 FPS is just a very expensive target to be hitting on Apple's low-end uh, hardware or entry-level hardware. While there are some scenes where the Mac Mini is getting 
260 FPS and sometimes over that. And honestly, the MacBook Air is sometimes not far behind. It's just not really worth it in, in my view because you're lowering the visuals so much to hit this target. One good thing is that when running the game at low presets, I'm noticing that there are very few shaders being compiled, which is good. Again, shader comp typically only happens when loading a save, which is what we want, but I think, I think it was worth noting. Now I did try a cooling pad with my MacBook Air for Cyberpunk, but I found it made little to no difference. Most of the thermal buildup is inside the Mac, and cooling pads only cool the surface, which doesn't help much unless the internal system can transfer that heat out efficiently, like the Mac Mini's fan system does. I'm not trying to downplay the value of a cooling pad. They have their place, but ultimately, they just can't compete with a dedicated internal fan. The best way to play Cyberpunk on both these Macs is definitely by choosing the For This Mac preset. As I've said in my other videos, this preset has been optimized specifically for each Mac config. So in base M4, it targets 1080p, mostly high settings, with a 30 FPS cap, and Metal Effects is on dynamic resolution scaling. Aiming for 30 FPS on the MacBook Air is also a really good idea, as it means the laptop won't get as hot. On paper, we are seeing the same performance on the MacBook Air and Mac Mini. 30 FPS and 33.33 milliseconds. Good. But, what's interesting is that on the MacBook Air, if we look at the um, scaling input res, it's more often using a lower resolution to hit the 30 FPS target. I think that's kind of cool to see. Also, during this race sequence, there are some minor frame pacing issues, but without access to the HUD, you're simply not going to notice. I like playing the game this way, as the frame pacing is even, and the game looks fine. On my M4 Mac Mini, another good option is to play the game with a 40 FPS cap at 1080p medium. This presentation looks really good, especially if you crave a more performance mode. Yes, I am using Metal FX DRS, but this helps to keep the FPS closer to 40. When comparing this to my MacBook Air, it can hit 40 FPS but in more challenging scenes, it will go below this target. So I don't think it's really worth aiming for 40 FPS here, due to the Mac throttling pretty quickly, even for just 40 FPS. Okay, so that was my M4 MacBook Air against my Mac Mini. If you don't mind playing the game at 30 FPS, it does run here pretty well. Uh, obviously, as I keep saying in this video, this thing throttles pretty hard without a fan, which is completely normal. It's, that's what it, it's meant to do. But that just means uh, aiming for a high FPS is quite difficult. But also at the same time, aiming for a high FPS on the M4 Mac Mini is also quite difficult because this game pushes the, the M4 GPU pretty hard. So you can't really get 60 FPS at respectable settings. So at the end of the day, it's, you, you know, you're probably going to be wanting to play at 30 fps on both machines or 40. Uh, i don't really have anything anything else to say see you later